in other YouTube broadcasting, Barrera accused left-wing parties and the Jews for spreading the LGBT ideology. He also accused the Jews for wanting to make Poland out of Poland. So once again, this indication that who about who is the right owners of uh, Poland is Poland uh, somehow belongs to the Jews. The Jews are masterminding their own plan of taking over Poland or are taking Poland or have already taken Poland. He also accused uh, the Jews for wanting to rob Poland and for brainwashing children in Polish schools so the children would not be able to think for themselves. Actually, this, this quote actually sounds uh, like a quote taken from antisemitic books that proliferated in the 1930s in Poland. And uh, you might ask me why I'm mentioning such a man. And uh, this might be seem like an odd event. And yet uh, in the two days after he has given the interview and the interview was broadcast, uh, he, he gained a number of 48,000 followers. The news about this young man reached even international social medias in the United States and some conservative right-wing Catholic Americans who read the news left comments on online forums in which they saw him as a hero fighting the Judeo-globalist homosexual menace. So this illustrates that actually this shows how in the global internet driven world, symbols and values of a specific radical far right in one national context travel geographically and receive support in a different radical far right antisemitic context. 